Buongiorno and welcome to the big, beautiful Bella Sanlucci Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Richie at your service. And today we're going to make one of the recipe entries from our contest. It is a lovely pork chop with a custard potato bacon topping. This dish today is brought to us by Chef Mark Engelhart in our contest. Congratulations, Chef, for your honorable mention. And now we're going to get cooking with our sun-dried tomato oil from the Julienne Cuts. We're going to put that in the pan and we're going to save this later for our pesto with the parsley, walnuts, and sun-dried tomatoes. We're going to let that get hot and we're going to get our chops into the pan to cook them in the sun-dried tomato oil, which, by the way, smells fabulous. Okay. The next step is while the pork chops are cooking, we're going to make what is a custard with shredded potato and bacon. Ready? There's egg, of course. The two essential ingredients for a custard are egg and cream, heavy cream. And start beating. Let's get the Romano cheese. The name of this dish, in fact, is pork chops a la Romano. Romano cheese is different from Parmesan in that it's from Rome and not Parma, and that it's made from sheep's milk. So sharper cheese with a lot of flavor. Shredded some potato, and I shredded it into water, which helped it to not oxidize and fix the color. And some pepper. This looks really good. And this is gonna go on top of the pork chop after we cook them on both sides for a little while. Bacon and garlic. Wow. Man, does that look good and rich. All right, so with the custard made, now we're gonna make the pesto. Let's get everything into our bowl here. Our pre-chopped parsley, our pre-chopped toasted walnuts, and these walnuts came from our family farm. They're called Chandler's. They're my favorite, luscious. Our sun-dried tomatoes, julienne. And the recipe says the remaining oil. Plus a half a teaspoon of salt. Let's mix that up, okay? Not sure if this is a pesto or a French pistou. We had all of our ingredients pre-prepared and that's called mise en place. And then we have this beautiful custard here, and so there are some French aspects to this dish. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we've had four minutes on one side, and there's your perfectly beautiful golden brown color. I'm gonna get these pork chops to be very close together. So I'm gonna put the custard, the potato bacon custard, onto each chop, so here we go. Potatoes, bacon, eggs, cream. Uh, sounds like a recipe for success to me. I'm impressed by the simplicity and richness of this recipe. Pat of butter on top of that, wow. Eggs, butter, and cream with bacon, the four food groups, I'm telling you now. All right, now we're gonna go into the broiler with this for another four minutes. This kitchen smells like magic right now. Watch this, look at the color. Oh, bam! Potato, bacon, custard with garlic. For the first time in my life, I'm speechless. Wow. Golden brown, so delicious, so beautiful. Here's your color and added flavor and freshness with the sun-dried tomatoes, walnuts and parsley and a little bit of that sun-dried tomato oil. I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lemon juice over the top. As per Chef Mark Engelhart's instructions for pork chop a la Romano, Congratulations, chef. This is a beautiful dish. And buon appetito, arrivederci. Please send your recipes in to bellasanlucci.com. Ciao.